Hello everyone, this is Yamin and welcome to Laravel Hotel Management System Project Tutorial for Beginner. So in this tutorial, what we are going to do is that uh, here we have a quantum form. So, so using this contact form, we'll upload some data and after uploading the data, we'll show a message over here, a success message that data uploaded successfully. So right now for it, let's go back to our code. So right now, first of all, we need to create a table called contact in order to upload those data. So let's go back to our project common prompt. And here we're going to write a common PHP artisan make clone model and our model name will be contact. contract then we'll give minus m so this will create a model and migration at the same time and the name will be contact so right now i'll press enter there you can see a model and migration is created so right now let's go back to our code and uh, we'll just directly go to our app then models and inside model here you can see contact.php and right now if we go to the database folder then migration folder you will be able to find the contact table.php so here we're going to have four fields so let's just say here dollar table then this arrow sign we'll say here string to first bracket to single quotation it will be name and let's just make it nullable okay let's just not make it nullable so after this let me just copy it and i'll paste it three times on two and three so the second one this one will be email then uh this one will be phone number let's say phone and this one will be the message so we'll say here the message so let's just uh, make the message stop string we'll say here long text okay so right now let's set this and uh, after this what we need to do is we need to go to our contact.php and add those fiend over here so let me just copy it from booking.php uh, protected fillable control c and we'll paste it in the contact.php model so here we'll have name email phone and the last one will be message we'll just say here message so we can just save it and uh, we can just close those two so after this we'll go back to our common prompt and we're going to say here php artisan migrate and there you can see migration is complete for the table so right now if we just go back to our database there you can see hotel database and if we now refresh there you can see we have a table called contact and if we go inside contact table we have name email phone and the message field which is basically this one so right now let's go back to this part where we have this contact us section so for it let's go back to our resource views and inside views we have home then inside home we have index.blade.php and inside the index.blade.php we included the file home.contact so which is inside the home folder we have uh, contact.blade.php there you can see so you can see the name field the email field the phone number field and the message field so we don't have to do anything we just need to write the code in the form over here so here you can see the form started from here so inside this form we are going to say action then we'll say here method so the method will be post and we also need to mention at the end of csrf token so inside this action we'll give to second bracket then we are going to say here url to first bracket to single quotation uh, then we are going to say here url to first bracket to single quotation it will be contact and here you can see name equal to name so instead of capital n let's make it smaller n it will be smaller e and the name of our car it will be phone and the message message equal to name not this one so for text area we are going to say here name equal to it will be message and let's do one more thing that is let's just make all the field required so we are going to say here required for name let me just copy it and we paste it for email phone number and the text area as well so for email type will be email and for phone number the type will be number 
and here you can see button class send button so for this button class we are going to say mention here type it will be submit so we are set so right now we'll go to our web.php and create this url contact so let's go back to our routes then web.php let me go down and here i'll just copy this route then paste it here so the route will be post and our route name will be contact so we'll paste it here contact will use the home controller for this and uh, stop upload gallery we are going to say here only contact so let's set this and uh, right now let's go to home controller and create this function so that we can upload our data in the contact table so we'll go to our app then http controllers and home controller so first let's go and just write the contact model at the top of our controller so here we are going to say app backslash models backslash contact so let's just go down and here we're going to say public function contact to first bracket and this will be a request dollar request because this is a post request and we are trying to send the data from here so we'll give to second bracket here and first we'll dictate a variable let's say over here dollar contact we will mention our table model name which is contact so contact equal to will be new contact c o n t a c t c t contact so after this what we are going to do is that we we'll say here dollar contact this arrow sign it will be name equal to and this name will come from the database table from here okay so name equal to we we'll say here dollar request and this arrow sign we we'll say here name and this name will come from our contact.blade.php from here here you can see name equal to name so after this let me just copy this and we'll paste it here on two and three times so here this one will be email so let's just say here email then this one will be phone number so we'll say here phone and this is the last one which is message we say here message and after this we need to save it so in order to save it we need to say here dollar contact this arrow sign save so it will save all those data and after storing the data we will send the user to the same base so we will say here return redirect to first bracket this arrow sign back so let's save it here so what will happen is that once the user give the data for name, email, number and the text area and after that click on the send button it will uh, call this URL and this URL will call our this function in the home controller and our this function will store all those data. So let's go back to our browser then let's refresh here. Let's say name is yami, email is yami at the end of gmail.com let's give a phone number let's write a message here uh, hello on me then click on the send button they can see the page reloaded and if we now just refresh our database table there you can see we have a data over here name email phone and the message so let's do one more thing and that is after storing the data we'll send a message to the user that data uploaded successfully over here so for it what we do is uh, let me just go back to our code first so here we are saying return redirect back so from here we we'll send a message so we we'll say here return redirect back with to first bracket to single quotation we we'll say here message and the message will be uh, message sent successfully successfully like this so we'll uh, send this message to our contact.blade.php since we write over here return redirect back it means it will send the user to the same view so right now we need to catch this message in that contact.blade.php so let's say we'll show the message uh, after this div so here we need to give a if condition 
we say here at the end of if to first bracket then we also need to in the if condition so we say here in if and inside this if condition we are going to say say shall to first bracket then this arrow sign if say shall has to single condition message if session has message, then show me the message. So let me just keep to second bracket and we are going to say here session to first bracket. This time we say here this arrow sign get message. Okay, so so it will only show us a message if a message is sent from the controller. Okay, so let's just save it and let's refresh here. And let's say here name will be ABC, email will be ABC and theta gmail.com. Let's give a phone number and let's say message. Hi. Click on send button. Let me just go down. And here you can see message call, message send successfully. So right now let's go and just add a little bit of design. So for it, we are just going to uh, say here. Inside this session, we are going to mention a div and uh, inside this div, we'll paste this code. And here, we're going to mention a class. Class will be alert, alert, success. And let's also have a close button. So we'll say here button. And inside this button, we need to give a X sign. Uh, so we'll give X and here so that type will be button here type will be button we will mention a class for this button class will be closed because uh, when someone click on this X button we want to close the button uh, then we we'll say here data PS dismiss equal to alert so right now let's just save this and let's go back to our browser again Refresh here and let's give a name about here. Let's say it will be John. Email will be John and that of gmail.com. Let's give a phone number and uh, let's say here hi from USA and click on send button. And right now, if you go down here, you can see it is showing us a message. Message is successfully. And if you now click on this close button, the message should have been closed. But uh, what you need to do is that in order to close this, we need to use the bootstrap CDN link. So let me just search over here bootstrapcdn.com. I'll also keep this link in the description. And from here, we're going to copy this CSS code. I mean, the CSS CDN link. Here you can see. Once you click this arrow sign, it will show us this HTML. So I'll copy it here. Then I will paste it in the index.blade.php because index.blade.php contain the contact. Okay, so inside the head section, we'll paste the bootstrap CSS serial link. So let's save it again and let's go back. Let's refresh here. Let's give a name here, Alex. Then we'll say here alex at the end of gmail.com phone number and a message hi I am a message and click on the send button and uh, here you can see message sent successfully and if I now click on this close button it's still not working because we also need to uh, write the JavaScript serial link as well. So let me also copy this from here and paste it after this CSS link. Save it. Then let's just try again. Let's say this time name will be Jamika. Uh, email will be Jamika at the rate of gmail.com. And no phone number. Message is message. And now click on the send button. And there you can see the message. If I cl click on this button, the message is closed. So we are able to upload the message in the contact table successfully. And we are also able to show the success message as well. So right now, uh, we'll do one more thing. And that is 
for your uploading the data the browser take us at the top so instead of going at the top after uploading the data we will keep the user to the same position so the user can see the message that data uploaded successfully over here so for it uh, we need to copy this code and uh, don't worry i will also give this code in the first comment so that you can just copy it and paste it in your code so we need to copy this over here and we will go to our index.blade.php and we we'll paste it after this footer section okay so we need to write our yes script and inside this script we'll paste the code and i'll give this code in the first comment uh, what this code do is that after reloading the user it will keep the user to the same position okay so let's try it again let's refresh let's say over here this time name will be sonia email will be sonia at the end of gmail.com and no phone number and message is hello and let's click on the send button so we are able to send the message and uh, show the success message over here if you want you can show the success message at the top over here or here whichever place you prefer so this is all for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we'll let the admin show the message and send a mail from the admin panel. So thank you very much for watching. Make sure to subscribe. I really appreciate that. And I hope to see you in the future tutorials.